Well, looking ahead, the annual Garden Fest at Bakersfield College was set to take place this weekend. But as Kevin just showed you, there's a rain delay. Joining us in studio with more, we have Lindsay Ono, the plant professor at Bakersfield College. Such a cool job. Oh, yes, it <laughs> we is. We love it. So Garden Fest is now scheduled for April 27th. That's right. So we had to reschedule because of uh, the winds and the rain. Yeah. And we didn't want anybody getting knocked over by easy ups. <laughs> forbid, but that can yeah. happen. So as we're heading out on the 27th, what are we going to see? Well, we're going to see a lot of different vendors and community organizations that'll be out there. And that's really one of the great things about it is that it's all about Bakersfield. Yes. You know, and then also we'll have our cooking demonstrations. We have the IKEA Renegade Ruckus Cook-Off. That is a great opportunity to see how our culinary arts students compete against each other. And then we'll have celebrity guests that will be uh, judging that particular competition. And then we also have our seminars much similar to what we're going to be doing right here Perfect. which is like how to reuse reduce and recycle okay. but in terms of recycle we're going to be re-eating so how you do that okay. is you basically can take your carrots that you've prepared for your dinner mm -hmm. use the good part for your dinner it always tastes better right. but we always <laughs> have that part that's left over and basically all we have to do is just take that here's how easy it is I'm done! <laughs> That's literally it? That's literally it. Yeah, even like this. We have green, green onions. onions. So green onions yeah. also have the same opportunity. All we do is cut off the bottom. And then we just stick that into the soil. And seven days later, you can be harvesting brand new green onions. So it's a great way to recycle all of your goods. And over here, we have a number of different ones too. And you can even get these particular That's what I types of herbs. Store, yeah. Yep. So instead of just throwing away all of that material, mm -hmm. all you have to do is just use what you're going to use for your cooking. Yeah. And so this goes in my dish, this goes in the soil, and then this becomes a brand new plant. And you can place this almost anywhere in the garden. Uh, thyme is a real good one that yes. will do extremely well in a windowsill as well. So you could do it in your kitchen and have this nice little display of herbs that you just go through and just pick off your leaves and then toss as that you into go. your... So I feel quite often that I have a brown thumb. I just cannot keep plants alive. I think I love them too much and I water them too much. Do you have tips for window boxes, especially with herbs? Well, basically, the big thing about this one is that all you have to do is just put your fingers in there. If it okay. feels moist to the touch, it's okay. Sometimes you can also lift it up and if it feels really light, in comparison with what you started with, that's another indication that it probably needs water. Okay, and mine are too heavy, which means they're getting too much water. Yep, <laughs> and so you do need to make sure that you have drainage at the yes. bottom. And if you're doing it indoors, always make sure you have a drain tray for that area as well, and that makes a big difference. It smells so good in here. So again, this is the BC Garden Fest happening April 27th, and yep. we're gonna come out all day with the kids, the family, the friends, and enjoy everything. Yep, something for everyone. I love family it. fun for everyone, it's a great day. It'll be an awesome day on the 27th. Perfect. Thank you so much. And again, so that's not this Saturday on the 27th. We'll be right back.